this one is so much fun. Oh, so <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Bye. Thank you. Okay, this right here is your brother Roger. You can call him Roger. Let's do it. Come on, baby. I adopted Loba from my absolute favorite family dog, New Life Animal Shelter. Tasha posted something on their family dog Instagram about Loba, and I absolutely just fell in love right away. Whenever I bring a puppy in, we always get a lot of judgment. If you know me at all, you know seniors are where my heart is. But bringing puppies into the pack every now and then is very important for a variety of reasons. One, it keeps the pack active. They want to keep up with the puppy. She was so active running around constantly. She was truly a wolf. I thought that that was going to change as time went on, but she's truly a wolf uh, on so many levels. She is one of the youngest dogs in the pack, but without question, Loba is a leader of the pack. I really wanted to have that bond with Loba where she just wanted to cuddle with me. And But I knew from a very young age with Loba being such a variety of the wolf breeds, I knew that she was gonna be very independent. There's a few different types of dogs at a beach. There's this kind of dog, and then there's that kind of dog. <laughs> Come on! One of the stories that not many of you know is it wasn't long after that that I found out she got parvo. And she had her shots. This sucks. I had to rush her to the emergency room. I knew something was wrong. She was throwing up all night. We're gonna be okay. All right, we're gonna be okay. Let's go. She's in there now. She's gonna be there at least until Monday. So I'm leaving to go back home right now and uh, just waiting, hoping for the best. She was at the hospital for three, four nights. It was devastating. I had just dealt with not too far from losing Sammy and I was so traumatized. I was so afraid of losing her. And when they called me and told me I could come pick her up and that she, that she was going to be okay, I cannot tell you the relief that I felt. It was such a scary moment. Loba is doing great. The doctor just called me and I haven't really had any updates because they they really wanted to instill in me that no news is good news. So I've been very patient. And they just called me <clears throat> not too long ago and they said I could pick her up tomorrow at 10 a.m. What are you doing? It was just bad luck and um, I'm even more cautious now, so I learned from it. But of course, she's okay. She healed very quickly and she was fine. And none of the other dogs got it. Come on. Her and I would say Copper are the two most adventurous. Loba will go so far and explore and run around. And, and the only thing that's unfortunate about that is that because Loba is a leader of the pack. She's one of the alphas. There, there's a few of them. The dogs will follow her. So that's only, that's when I get a little bit nervous. So if I take Loba somewhere off the property, if I take Loba somewhere off the sanctuary, I have to have her on a leash. All the other dogs will always check in with me and be right by my side. But Loba, I know she'll come back, but it's not worth the stress. She has grown into such a wolf. She has grown into such a beautiful dog loving dog, giving Loba this type of life. I couldn't imagine her in a house with just a backyard or an apartment. Like this dog is go, go, go nonstop until the lights go out. And that's Loba's story. So family dogs, Tasha and Justin, family dog, do life animal shelter. Thank you for bringing Loba and many of the dogs, even these two, of course. Thank you for bringing many of the dogs into our life and for allowing me to rescue from you. And um, I, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Uh, please share it if you think anyone can use any of this information for themselves. I love you. Have a great night or a great day. Bye.